I love to read. And I love being productive. And I love reading books about productivity. Hi everyone, in this video today I would love to tell you a bit more about my favorite productivity books. And by the way, at the end of the video I will be doing a giveaway of two of my favorite books, so you might want to stick around to see the rules of the giveaway. Stay tuned! I absolutely love reading and I love being effective, efficient with my time and productive and there is a lot of good literature on this topic of self-improvement, productivity, effectiveness and I picked out a few of my favorite books to share them with you guys so that you can take advantage of all the knowledge that is covered in the books and try to implement it for your own life. The first book that I will start with is Deep Work by Cal Newport. Cal Newport um, was one of the, one of the young professors of computer science and professors in general at Georgetown University and he actually has a blog called study hacks where he essentially talks about how to spend your time effectively how to study better and a lot of just like cognitive brain research around how to be more productive also so in the book deep work and he actually wrote a few other books that I personally have not read yet he essentially talks about the importance of being able to focus deeply on a task he essentially says that on only if you're like some extreme amount of super talented will you be able to be better than someone who is just hardworking. That no matter how talented you are, it's not about talents, it's about the grit and about your ability to focus very deeply on the task or skill at hand. He gives you techniques around how to spend more time being not distracted. You know, in today's world, I think our uh, attention span is about three seconds, which is super horrible. It was, I think like, twice as long only 20 or so years ago or maybe 15 years ago and now it's complete garbage. I catch myself so frequently wanting to be focused on let's say writing an important email and then a notification appears on my phone or I remember oh man I had to pay this bill that I forgot to pay and then I get distracted with that task and all that multitasking without focusing deeply at a task at hand basically spoils our ability to learn something deeply. He also says that that the quality of your work is essentially the time spent multiplied by the intensity of your focus. I highly recommend this book to, you know, try to establish uh, techniques and rituals around being able to focus more on specific tasks at hand. Something that I started implementing in my own life from this book is actually scheduling my leisure time. He talks a lot about the brain research around productivity and about decision fatigue and he says that whenever we have free time at hand and a lot of potential options of what we could be doing with that time brain just gets exhausted trying to pick a thing to focus on and to avoid that you should just schedule your leisure time in advance so that when you have that three free hours to focus on maybe your side project you know exactly what to do as opposed to catching yourself two hours later scrolling social social media which happens to me frequently and I'm sure it probably happens to you also so now I schedule my free time the next book that I would like to tell you guys about is called Atomic Habits by James Clear. Atomic Habits essentially talks about the systems behind accomplishing goals and the systems in hand are essentially developing a good set of small habits that you can repeat on continuous basis. Habits are a compound interest of self-improvement. There is this good phrase that where you are today, where we are today is a sum of all the previous decisions and things that happened in our lives. And it's the same with habits. If you want to achieve something, you shouldn't be setting goals. You should actually focus on systems and those little things, rituals that you do day to day that will bring you to that goal. And then, you know, you might think, oh, this is some insignificant 10 minute thing that I do a day. And then a year later, it happens that you achieve that bigger goal of yours by following the small set of habits on ritual continuous basis and in his book Atomic Habits he talks about habit triggers he talks about how to create better habits and good habits and how to essentially build those important systems 
at hand to be a better self in the future. The next book that I would like to talk about is this tiny little book called The Myth of Multitasking. The book is an extremely easy read and Dave Crenshaw is the author of the book and it kind of reads like a novel. A consultant comes to this busy CEO's office and the busy CEO never has enough time for anything. She's always stressed out. She always just has too many things on her plate. And essentially he talks to her and teaches her how to understand and come to a conclusion that multitasking does not work and it's bad. So this book is very similar in the idea to deep work. Deep work focuses on talking about how, you know, multitasking, uh, just being distracted all the time just doesn't work and we're not able to deeply understand something and to deepen our skills and knowledge in a specific field. And uh, in this book, Dave Crenshaw actually shows with very simple examples what the cost of multitasking is. Let's say, again, you're you're in the middle of writing this important email. You have a very clear idea of what you want to put on paper, on a computer in this case. And then someone comes into your office or you get a notification on your phone with a question. You get distracted with that notification. You start answering the question. And then when you come back to that email at hand, you completely forgot where you even left off. You completely forgot what was the, that main idea that you've already spent time thinking about beforehand and that cost of you just switching from one task to another actually turns out to be extremely expensive in terms of time spent for your brain to readjust to the previous activity but like spend five minutes extra uh, trying to figure out where you left off with the email and then um, with respect to that question that you were answering you had to spend time again thinking of what the right answer to the question was so multitasking just doesn't work and in this simple book he explains why and he gives very simple techniques for how to get better at again deep focus and getting rid of the stupid habit of multitasking and the last book uh, that I want to discuss is called essentialism by George not George, Greg McKeown. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing his last name correctly. It's kind of hard to pronounce. But essentialism is basically focusing on priorities and the ability to remove everything that is unnecessary and that is not important to you in your life. So that's, for instance, something that I now always try to focus on, on, you know, thinking what is actually important to me in this moment? What should I focus my energy on? Because if you say yes to everything, if you say say yes to too many things, you essentially don't get the opportunity to prioritize your own life. And he actually says this in this book is that if you don't spend time prioritizing your own life and figuring out what is important to you, someone else will prioritize your life for you. And you're always going to be like that hamster in a spinning wheel, just going after things that you don't actually care about. And then 20 years later, you would realize, what have I been doing these whole years, all these years, all this time? I'm so unhappy. I'm so unsatisfied satisfied and in this book he really teaches you different techniques for how to shave off all the unnecessary all the unimportant stuff and really focus on things that matter to us and on this note I actually want to also give you guys a bonus book that I personally really love it's called design in your life that was written by two Stanford professors design in your life a course by the same name is actually one of the most popular extracurriculum courses in Stanford University and uh, it's, yeah, it was written by Bill Burnett and Dave Evans and this book essentially applies design thinking to your own life and it teaches you different, it, it walks you through different exercises for how you can understand what is it that you really care about, what is it that is important to you, what is it that energizes you so that by going backwards and kind of reverse engineering where is it that you want to be in the future, you can understand what is that perfect life, perfect perfect career, perfect leisure time spending, perfect life really is for you. One of my favorite exercises in this book is the exercise of imagining yourself in let's say 20 years and writing a diary entry from yourself uh, 20 years from now. So you would essentially write, you know, I wake up at this time, this is what my morning looks like, this is what I'm occupied with day to day, this is what my family, if I have a family, looks like, this is the house that I live in, these are the types of tasks that tasks that I do throughout the day and um, by writing that diary entry that ideal diary entry you can reverse engineering to figure out what should you do today in today's moment to uh, get to that 
ideal self in 20 years. So for me, for example, I know that I want to run my own company. So my ideal diary entry would look like I wake up very early in the morning, I hit the gym, I have a family. So I say like, hello to my partner. I probably have children. And then I run to run my business. I probably have some media interviews throughout the day. I have multiple different products or spheres that my business operates with. So I need to like have some bigger, higher level decisions that I need to make. I have all these people working for me throughout the day. I need to go and uh, decide or sign some kind of partnership that will further uh, further along my business. And then in the evening, I spend time with my family. I spend time with my friends. And yeah, it kind of gives you an idea. So, you know, uh, knowing that that is my ideal self makes me figure out what is it that I need to optimize in my current life today to get there. So I definitely recommend you um, this book. And now I uh, will tell you guys about the giveaway that I want to do for you guys. And I will be giving away uh, two of my favorite books. So it would be Designing Your Life and Atomic Habits. And to participate in the giveaway, you just need to leave a comment down below that you want to participate in it. And also comment on what are some of your favorite productivity techniques? What are some of your favorite literature on you know self-improvement, productivity, effectiveness? The more comments you leave, the better your chances are of winning the giveaway. And how I'm gonna, you know, give you these books is that if you're in the States, I'm gonna ship you the book. But if you're international, I'm either gonna send you an audio version of the book or I'm going to send you an ebook. So I will contact you to figure out your preferences if you do happen to be uh, inter located internationally and not in the States. So I hope you guys participate in the giveaway. These books are amazing and I hope they will change your life for the better. Uh, please leave the comments down below and don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and a wonderful week and bye for now.